Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach the, I am going to create the my first app, app application using the Visual Studio uh, 2012, which is a Windows form. So first, I am going to open up my Visual Studio 2022. So if you open it, they look like this. Now so click Create Project. Click Windows form. Okay, so here click create. You can see over here. Here, you can see I already this setup I have set up. If you go to the basic the first time, you just if it is the setting has been changed, look like this. You have to change, you have to select the appropriate language C sharp, the appropriate operating system Windows. If you are using the Mac OS, you will be able to select Mac OS. If you go for the Linux, you can select as a Linux. So I'm going along with the Windows, so select as Windows. The approved the if you select as window, the based on the windows uh, property has been loaded. Okay, according to the windows, all the properties has been loaded. Here we have to change as here desktop application. So you have to be able to change as windows application, desktop application. You have to change it. Okay, so if you want to change a web application, it will be changed it as a web application. So you have to change it as a window desktop application. So click next. The Windows form there is a WPF. I'm going to select going along with the Windows. So I'll select this one as first app. First app. Click next. Click next. Click create. So wait until the project has been. Here your form has been loaded successfully over here. Now we have to start here. going to do this. You have to adjust the size which you want here. So I'm going to select this one, the Windows form. If you want the first time you have to run the application, you can click on this play button. Okay, here it is it will be running successfully. If you click on this, the Windows application will be running for the first time. So it is building here, so all the things are building. So it will be displayed successfully. Okay, so now what you're going to do is I'm going to close it, just click on this button and close it. Again, what I'm going to do is, so you can see, this is the Windows form, the appropriate solution explorer, if it is not there, the solution explorer, property window, and everything. So where you are going to get that may also, go to the Windows option. So, so here we have write the re reset Windows layout, you can reset it. Here you can click on this, and reset it. yes, you can here, you can get everything. Now you can notice that you don't have a toolbox. So how to get the toolbox? You have to go to the uh, view, view menu. Okay, inside the view menu, there are several options are there. Solution export. If the solution export is not there, you can get the solution export. Okay, so here is already there. Solution explorer, server explorer, GitHub, all things are there. So here we have to get this one toolbox. You click on this toolbox. Here it's there. Okay, so don't worry about that. It will be get this here. If it is not coming here, you will be go to the view and toolbox. Okay, so here this toolbox, I'm going to drag first one tool, which is a label. So if you click, click and drag the label, label, if you click on this, okay, the appropriate property is not displayed. Don't worry about that. Right click on the label. And properties, you will have, a, have have all the properties. Now, if, if you want to change the name of the label, you can click on this text property. This called as this property is text property. If you want to change the label text, you will be able to change it over here. So I want to change it as here. Uh, adding. First, adding. Press enter key. Once you've done the things, press enter key. Then only it will be applied. Now, if you feel if you want to increase the size of the text, there is a property called here the font. Click on this font property. Click on the bold. Along with, you will be able to select and pick up the size. Which size? Simply you have to pick it like this. Okay. Now, if I want to change the color of this first study. Here, this is a foreground color. Click on this. You have web color, so whatever color. If you have custom color, you can click on it to change the color. Very simple. Very simple. You have to change the colors. Okay. Very simple. You have to do the product. 
now i want to change the title of the of the research title the firm form the default come as a form one i want to change it as a form one to some other things so i want to change form one to my first first time so here click on this properties you can see the text click on this the text okay this one instead of form one i'm going to change the first app press enter key it has been changed it has been changed it has been changed now i want to run this application i want to run this application okay i want to run the application so when you run it it it, it should be running it should be running at the center that 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 what we I, I need to display when you run it i i need to be display as a center so select this one right click you select right click properties uh here you have a things called when you run it it will be center so here this one's option which is a display center okay here the, the windows start position here the window start here the start position default not not that instead of default location you have to make it as center of the screen okay if you want to make it it has been changed as center okay very simple here it will be calculate the CS, uh, CPU process, the memory, how, how the memory getting everything, it will be processed the Visual Studio. Okay, simple. So here the first tab, you can display here, okay, the, now here, click on this form. If you want to, the form border, this is nothing but a form border. You have various styles. So you go to the form border here, go border size, default come as sizable, you can change it as 3D, uh for fixed dialogue uh anything else yeah it's everything is there you will be changed whatever you need so if I, I want to change this like this format if you execute the program and check yeah it will be change it like this if you click on the simple sign here this one if you click close it it will be closed okay this of the application will be doing the big dot net project also we are doing this simple this is it's is attractive look this format is very attractive look. If you make the login form, it very really attractive look if you are made like this way. Okay. So, so let's do the simple uh, login form in my next video tutorial. Okay. So, how the login validation everything works. So, your first time you have to understand. So, how to make the title, how to make the label. Okay. We will be getting in touch with my next video tutorial. Uh, the remaining stuff. Okay. So, uh, one thing I have forgot it. The background color default come as this color. If you want to change the background color, click on this form. Okay, so here, if you want to change the color of the label, click on the label. I want to change the color of the form, click on the form. If you click the form, appropriate form property has been displayed. If you click the label, the matching with the label property has been displayed. So click on the form. I want to change the background color as some other color. So this color, if you change it, it will be changed according to the color. Okay, so your color. This one, you have to color this one. Okay, you will be able to change the color. Instead of color, if you want to change the image, you will be able to click on this, this three dot button. Here you have to import the image from your machine or somewhere else. You get the image and you have to put it. Something I want to change the image as something like this one. Baby dog. Click OK. Here it will be coming like this. Okay, something like this. So I want to, this one I'm going to remove it. So you have to clear, click OK, it will be clear. Okay, you have to clear. I want to keep this color. Okay, this is how we have make the application. So if you run it, you will be able to get the output. Okay, I hope you guys you understood the uh, beginner video of .NET. Uh, I'll be get touch with my next video tutorial. Thank you.